Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, my name is Dr. Laura Klein. I am the medical director of the Valley Breast Center and breast surgical oncologist at the Valley Mount Sinai Comprehensive Cancer Care Center. I'm Dr. Eleonora Toplinski. I'm the head of breast medical oncology at Valley Mount Sinai Comprehensive Cancer Care. I'm Nancy Antalas, nurse practitioner at Valley Medical Group's Center for Metabolic and Surgical Weight Loss. We're here today to talk about the option of medically managed weight loss. And we're going to talk about how obesity relates to breast cancer risk today and some ideas of what we can do about it. It's also important to point out that a lot of patients who go through breast cancer treatment you know, are at increased risk for weight gain due to medications. Sometimes uh, hormone therapy such as tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors can impact metabolism or insulin resistance. Some patients go through early menopause, which is also a risk factor for weight gain. And because of these medications and because of the side effects that they experience, sometimes they are unable to lose weight with diet and exercise alone. And that's why medical weight loss may be an option. Nancy Ann, can you talk about that a little bit? So often we meet patients when they're struggling, they've made all the diet and exercise changes and they're still tr struggling to lose weight. And that's where our medication is a nice adjunct to help them. Patients need to meet criteria to start medication, so we screen them. Uh, BMI of 27 with comorbidities such as diabetes, hypertension, sleep apnea, and some other options as well. Uh, or a BMI greater than 30 often gets them insurance coverage to use medications as an option. They don't work independent, so diet and exercise is a very important component on as well. How well do these medications work? So oral medications, uh, statistically, you'll lose about 5 to 10 percent of your excess weight, and injectable medications is about 10 to 15 percent of your excess weight. A lot of our patients are sometimes hesitant because they're afraid of the side effects and they're already experiencing side effects from their other treatments. Can you talk a little bit about what those side effects are? Most often side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation is an issue as well. Um, we carefully screen our patients to try to choose the most appropriate medication for them to have the less drug-to-drug -drug interactions with, and we support them throughout the way, so they often reach out to us in between visits to talk about how they're feeling so we can help them. One of the things that I think is really important to point out is that we all work together because some of the medications that we use for breast cancer, for example, tamoxifen, may have certain drug-drug interactions with some of the weight loss medications. And working together, we can ensure that patients are being offered the safest and most appropriate option for them. Absolutely. Who would you say is a candidate for the weight loss medication, specifically the injectables? So that's a great question. Um, our center is very personalized and we tailor our treatment to patients' past experience with medication, current medication regimen, uh, comorbidities, and other cons medical considerations. Some patients cannot have an injectable medication if they've had a history of pancreatitis or if they have a history of uh, medullary thyroid cancer. Um, oral medications are a little complex because of the drug to drug interaction, so again, that's why we tailor each patient's choice. What's also important is that as part of the multidisciplinary approach to weight loss, that we also incorporate uh, having nutrition and diet consultation as well as exercise support. Um, we have created a program at the Valley Mount Sinai Comprehensive Cancer Care Center to support the survivorship group of people and have dedicated registered dietitians and exercise physiologists to help with this approach. And it really is a community that we've built and I think adding in medical weight loss is an extra tool for our patients. It's not the only tool but it's adding to the options that they have to live their healthiest life after cancer. Yeah, I really believe that this is gonna be a very powerful part of what we have to offer to the patients. And where can patients go to find more information and see if they're eligible? If they visit our website or call our office, we'd be happy to help them screen. Wonderful, thank you.